Hi there, I'm James and welcome to another Sutton Brain Hub video where we'll be covering the corneal reflex. The corneal reflex is a protective reflex that results in both eyes blinking when the cornea of the eye is touched. For this to occur, the trigeminal nerve and the facial cranial nerve must be intact. The corneal reflex is tested by gently touching the cornea of the eye with a wisp of cotton wool. This is a diagram of the corneal reflex. The reflex starts when the foreign object comes into contact with the eye and activates either free nerve endings or mechanoreceptors of the cornea. Sensory information is transmitted along the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve and synapses in the medulla of the brainstem in the spinal trigeminal nucleus. Some literature varies on this, however, and you may see in some textbooks the trigeminal nerve synapsing in the chief sensory nucleus. The facial nucleus is then bilaterally innervated and transmits motor information along the facial nerves, which branch into the temporal branches. This innervates the orbicularis oculi muscles of the eyelid, which causes the eyelids to close. To recap, if the corneal reflex is activated, both eyes will blink due to the bilateral innervation of the facial nerve. Let's revisit the corneal reflex in the schematic form. The reflex starts at the cornea, where free nerve endings or mechanoreceptors are activated by a foreign object. The sensory information then passes along the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. On its journey, it passes through the trigeminal ganglion. The trigeminal nerve then synapses in the spinal nucleus of trigeminal. Motor information is then carried bilaterally in the facial nerve, which branches into the temporal branches to reach the orbicularis oculi muscle, which controls eyelid closure. As you can see from the diagram, a foreign object activating the corneal reflex results in both eyes blinking. The eye that was initially touched by the foreign object is said to have a direct response, and the adjacent eye a consensual response. Try and work out what response would be seen with the following lesions. A lesion of the trigeminal nerve. This would show no direct response and no consensual response. A lesion of the facial nerve. This would show no direct response and an intact consensual response. Thank you for your attention during this video. I hope it's been helpful. Please make sure to check out more Sun Brain Hub content on our YouTube channel for more neuroanatomy help. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.